Hey everybody, so I'm gonna wait till a couple more people hop on here. And I kinda just wanted to, um, sorry, I just got out of the shower. Um, I wanted to chat with you guys about um, lupus a little. Um, it's been a rough morning. Um, the kids drove me nuts today and um, they just drive me nuts. Kids are fun. Um, both of them are not feeling too good, so they're super um, irritable, super cranky, so that's always fun. But I wanted to come on here because um, in honor of World Lupus Day, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about myself. Um, and it was just so much easier to share it live um, than via write it because it would have been written forever. So... Um, over 10 years ago, I started um, losing a lot of my hair. I started um, having a lot of um, body aches, a lot of discomforts in my body, a lot of things that were um, limiting my everyday um, living. And over those course of many years, I was misdiagnosed. I was put on medication that was supposed to help me and it didn't. Um, so with that being said, seven years ago, um, 2010, I went from me being a size six, which was about 135 pounds for me, to going to a size one slash zero, which was a good 20 pounds that I lost. And with losing all that weight in a matter of, a, I would say three to four week period, I was also feeling extremely terrible. Um, to the point where I did not want to get out of bed, literally didn't get out of bed for days. I finally drug myself to the doctor's office and made them um, do all kinds of tests. Um, I wanted to know what was wrong with me. Um, a part of me was changing. I went from being super energetic, super happy, um, just an all around happy person. I loved going out and doing things. I loved getting together with friends. I loved, I mean, I loved working. That sounds crazy, right? So anyway, um, fast forward about two weeks, which was the first week of May of 2010 when they diagnosed me with lupus. From there, I was um, lost. I had no idea what in the world lupus was. Of course, we turned to Google and what's Google tell you? Google tells you you're gonna die. So in theory, I was freaking out, I was overreacting, I had all these things going on with me, and I had no idea what was going on. I, I had no idea. Um, hi, Heather. So um, at that time, I reached out to support groups on Facebook, um, I reached out to wherever I could um, to the Lupus Foundation of North Carolina who really helped me tremendously um, with support and information and meeting, intro introducing me to other people that could help me. So fast forward several months, during those several months I saw multiple, multiple rheumatologists, all of them telling me I had lupus and then finally being diagnosed also with fibromyalgia which is another autoimmune disease. So I completely lost it. I wasn't feeling good. I felt like I had the flu all the time. I felt miserable. Um, I was put on all these medications, which then made me gain weight. So I went from being 135 pounds to almost 170 pounds within a six week period, which was a total shock and a total, um, sorry, I got a phone call. It just, it took me to another level. At that time, I went to a little bit of a depression. I was really sad, emotional. All my emotions were everywhere, and I didn't know where to turn. And at the same time, my friend, a mutual friend of mine, sent me a friend request about eight months prior for Chris, my husband. And I deleted it. I had no interest in dating anyone. I wasn't looking for... A boyfriend I was working I was goal-oriented I was a dreamer I am always been a dreamer I've always wanted everything in life to be perfect um, so anyway fast forward in a dark place all of a sudden I get a friend request from Chris 
I said, what the heck? I'll never meet him. He's just a Facebook friend. I have a million of them. Nothing's going to come of it. Well, two weeks later, we finally meet on a blind date. From there, I couldn't get rid of him. I tried. He wouldn't go away. He was stuck. Uh, I drug him to a colonoscopy. I drug him to rheumatology appointment after rheumatology appointment. I drug him to my spinal tap, which was awful. Um, a student did it, which I'm all for people learning, but not when it comes to a spinal tap. So that was really rough and um, ended up falling in love with him. Um, and so why I bring that up is I've learned a lot since I was diagnosed with lupus. I've learned a lot in the last 10 years. I've learned that there's a lot of things that life's going to throw at us to try to knock us down. Um, but you got to do whatever it is to pick yourself up and move forward and try to bring the best out of everything. With my diagnosis of lupus and fibromyalgia all within a six month period, I lost my grandfather, just closed on my house. I had a lot going on. Um, emotionally, I was all over the place. I felt awful. Um, canceled dates left and right with Chris because I just couldn't do it all. Um, and then we fell in love. Um, I also met several friends through the Lupus Foundation. Um, I met support from support groups, uh, Lyme's disease support groups, um, lupus, uh, fibromyalgia, all of them. I met some of my best friends today from those groups. And I don't think, like I know I couldn't be where I'm at right now without a lot of them um, who stuck by me, who supported me, who understood what I was going through and never left my side. Um, with that being said, my husband and I had two beautiful girls, very healthy kids, um, little baby monsters as I call them. Um, but I was told I couldn't have kids. So I have two beautiful girls um, that I'm truly blessed with every day. Um, that I couldn't thank God for more. Um, I moved to Colorado after meeting a friend of mine in North Carolina um, after I nannied for her children. We moved out here after visiting, fell in love with the area. It's gorgeous in Colorado, minus today it's raining. But I still feel good. So, um, yeah, so we moved to Colorado. We created a life for ourselves out here. Chris found an amazing job that's fully um, takes care of him. Um, anything he needs, he's there. They appreciate, they respect him, which is huge for any job that you have. Um, and we love it here. We've, we've made such an amazing um, group of friends that we call family, fa friends that are closer to us than some family, um, friends who are there for us better than some family. Um, truly, truly grateful for everything that has happened since my diagnosis. And I believe things happen for a reason. Things are placed in our life to bring us to the next stage of our life, um, good and bad. We just have to take all of it with us. Um, and so when Chris and I got married, we dedicated our wedding to the Lupus Foundation. We asked all of our guests to donate to the Lupus Foundation instead of getting gifts for us. Um, so many things that I've done to help support so many people that I love and care about that have autoimmune diseases, that have autoinflammatory diseases, that have multiple things that um, can debilitate you and take, take your part of your life away. Um, so with that, I, I just want you guys to know a little bit of my story. Um, a lot of you that know me know my story, um, not everyone. So, in honor of Lupus, um, World Lupus Day, I'm rocking my purple eyeshadow. Do you guys see? I got my purple nails, or purple and pink. Um, but I'm truly grateful for um, everyone that I've met since uh, my diagnosis in 2010. Um, truly grateful for all the blessings. I try to look at all the positives out of everything that happens bad in our life, because that's all you can do. You can only look up instead of down. Um, and I try to bring people with me, bring me up. Um, I hope it makes sense. I'm kind of like emotional. It's just a lot, um, but I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for my girls. I'm grateful for all my friends watching because all of you I've met through um, different people that have brought me um, here where I am today. So 
With that being said, I just wanted to say hello and I wanted to share my story and um, bring people aware of lupus and an autoimmune disease that really takes uh, a lot out of a lot of people and really affects a lot of people these days. Um, it's a disease you can't see, um, you only feel it. And I choose every day to wake up, I choose to put my makeup on, I choose to put a smile on my face because I am conquering my life and no, nothing else is gonna take my life away from me. And I'm gonna live my kids, I want my kids to live a fun-filled, healthy, happy lifestyle and I choose to not let the disease take over my life because I, I, it's what I want. Um, I did for a short period of my life and it was a really bad place and um, I, I, I don't want that. I want everyone who suffers from any um, anything to know that there's things that are brighter and bigger for them out there and to try to bring light into the negatives in your life. Um, I love talking to people. I love helping people feel better, um, whether it's just being that person that you can vent to or just sharing my story um, on how I've overcome a lot of my, um, my negatives in my life. Um, so I'm truly grateful for all my new friends. I'm truly grateful for everyone in my life, my family, my husband, my children. Every day I thank God for everyone in my life. Um, so, um, let me know if you guys have questions, if you guys need to talk, if you would love to learn more about the Lupus Foundation. Um, they're an amazing group of people. I've met, I can't stop saying how many times I've met so many amazing people um, during this whole process. So, um, I love you guys, and you guys have a wonderful day.